Hello, this is GCSE Physics Explained and I'm going to tell you about velocity and acceleration. Right, so starting with speed, you'll need to tell the examiners uh, what speed is. So it's basically a measure of how fast something is moving. Right, the thing is, is it's what we'll call a scalar quantity. It has size only, so it's just a number. So in other words, it's like 8. Now it's obviously got units as well, metres a second. Or it's just 2 metres a second. Now we we'll say size only or magnitude only if we want to be posh. Uh, now you've also got to know what velocity is. So velocity is like speed's posh cousin. It's got everything that speed's got and more. So it has uh, size but it's also got direction. So for example, 8 metres per second would be the size, plus units of course, and then the direction could be south, or north, east-west, or it could be, you know, to the left or to the right. Okay, so the definition of a scalar quantity is something that has only size. Alright, so speed's an example of that, and mass would be an example as well. Uh, and a vector quantity has got size and direction, so that's like velocity. Right, now here's a, a typical exam question. So imagine there's this roller coaster and it's called Velocity and its aim is to thrill you by changing the speed, so the size that you're going, the speed that you're going, and the direction lots of times. So here's the question. Does the speed or velocity change as the car goes round the corner? And they've gave you this picture. So there's the car. It's 30 metres per second before it gets to the corner and it's 30 metres per second after it gets to the corner. Well, in terms of speed, it has only size that you need to talk about. So since it says it's 30 before the corner and 30 after, basically the speed hasn't changed since the size is still the same. So you've let the examiner know that you know that size uh, is the only thing that speed is concerned with. However, the velocity... Well, the velocity has changed because the direction's changed. So even though that the size has stayed the same, so it's still going to 30 metres a second, so you need to let the examiner know that you understand that velocity is a vector and it depends on both a size and a direction. Now, don't start getting creative with the question. Don't start saying, oh, the corner looks pretty tight to me. I bet you really slowed down a bit. Just literally use the information that it's gave you in the question. It says it was going 30 before the corner. It says it's going 30 after the corner. Okay, so just stick with these answers down the bottom there. Right, what's the definition of acceleration? So there's a few different ways you can see it. Uh, basically, uh, it means like how fast you get faster, so how fast you're speeding up, okay? If we want to get a little bit more posher, it's a measure of how quickly you speed up. Or, if you want to go for those top grades, it's the change of velocity per second. Or the rate of change of velocity. Or the rate that you speed up. So, base your explanation on the calculation. Look at this. There's the acceleration calculation. So it's basically uh, the change in the velocity divided by the time taken for the change. Now if anything says it's divided by time, then you've got to explain it in words. Just say the rate of change of. Okay? So it's the rate of change of velocity in this case. Alright? Now the units are unusual, so the examiner usually asks you about them. So make sure you know what the units of acceleration are. It's metres per second squared. Now where does that come from? Well, it's metres per second per second, which means for every second that you are travelling, your velocity will increase by a further, you know, if you go an acceleration of 10 metres a second, by a further 10 metres per second. So if you're accelerating for one second, uh, and you're starting at 0 metres a second, after one second, you'll be going at 10 metres a second. If you are accelerating at 10 metres per second squared and you are going for two seconds, well, after the first second, you'll be 10 metres a second, and then after the second second, you'll be 20. After the third second, you'll be 30 metres a second, and then you'll be 40 metres a second after the fourth. You know, that kind of thing. Right, you also need to be able to rearrange the equation if you are the higher candidate. So, uh, that's your little magic triangle. Uh, I'm not going to explain how to do that, but I'll, I'll maybe do a video to explain how to use the magic triangle. 
and that is that so how does it apply for a question so I got this lad Joe uh, we found out how fast he walked okay so we did his speed by doing distance over time and it turns out he walks out one and a half meters a second and then when I got into sprint he sprints at 6.8 meters a second all right and now I told him to walk and then I told him go and to start sprinting uh, and it basically took him 2.94 seconds to go from his walking speed up to his top speed okay so the examiner will say it here work out his acceleration right easy peasy so you just need to know how much has his velocity changed by well he was uh, that's his final speed and that was his initial speed so basically it's changed by 5.3 and how long did it take for that change to happen well 2.94 so if you do that divided by that, it turns out as 1.8 metres per second squared. And that is how to take care of that. Thank you very much.